Hello, I'm Andy Mike from Cleaner Cooler. I'm here today to show you a way to sanitise a water cooler in about 10 to 15 minutes. But primarily it's going to be safe, quick, efficient and profitable. Okay, first thing we've got to do obviously is switch off the machine and we'll unplug it. I'm just going to take the bottle off. Okay, in order to keep the customer's floor clean, we're going to put the canvas down. Always use powder free gloves when you're cleaning a water cooler. Okay, we need to get into the reservoir of the machine, so take off the water guard. The top on this particular model has to come off also. Into the reservoir. We take out the paddle, expose the whole reservoir. We're using hydrogen peroxide, this is our own label. Cooler Pro, and this needs about 35 mil into it. That's 25, and another 10. Put the peroxide in, give the reservoir a thorough brush. Take water from both taps to ensure that the peroxide solution is getting through all the tubes. Okay, so spray the taps with 3% peroxide. Take out the drip tray, give that a clean as well. Just pop the do not use sign on the cooler, just to make sure. We'll also spray Oxide on the baffle. Give that we have a contact time of about five minutes, which will give us plenty of time now to clean the outside of the cooler. We're using a mirror clean sponge means there's no chemicals being used on the cooler. Brush the recess of the taps just to make sure that they're both clean on the inside. We've had our five minutes contact time, so now we're going to drain off the solution out of the reservoir. And first of all, we'll take it from both taps. Okay, we've taken as much water as we can out of the taps. All we've got to do now is locate the bung plug and totally drain the reservoir. On this particular machine, it's inside here. We assemble the cooler. We put the bottle on now and we just need one single rinse. That's the beauty of using hydrogen peroxide. Pop your bottle back on. Okay, so now we're going to rinse all of that water out, again using the taps and the bottle plug. Finally, take the last drops of water out of the reservoir via the bottle plug. And finally, just before we finish off, give the spike a blast of 3% peroxide. Pop your bottle back on. Now, just to finish off, we're just going to make sure there's no peroxide solution left in the water. There we go. Perfect. It hasn't changed colour. We're just about to finish off now. Don't forget to get your paperwork signed up. Clean up. Take your mat away. And more importantly, cheers.